the hello. Can't hear you. Did we have this problem last time? I forgot whose end it was on. Uh, will we be able to ask Richard Lewis questions? I think so. It was me last time. Okay, let me look. Hmm. What was my problem last time? I said restart. All right, can you hear me now? Talk real fast? Or maybe oh, I couldn't hear you before. Hmm. Can you, you can hear me fine. I can't hear you at all. Hold on. What the heck is going on? Yo, uh, can one of you guys, like any, Blue, can you get on my Discord to see if I can hear you real quick? Okay. What the fuck's wrong with my shit? Yo, Smokey or someone that knows my Discord, Ram, one of you motherfuckers, who is Richard Lewis? Come on, man. Just got to do some research, bro. Yeah, I swear it's working the other time. All right, so it's been working. Check. Hmm. What is the problem? My Discord's full volume. Yeah, my shit's working. I had a problem last time and I forgot what it was. Come on, man. None of you guys know Discord? Why is it called Global Elite, dude? That means there can only be one globe. That's fuck. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, not now, man. Not now. Stop with the donations and shit. Uh, shoot, it's cool, man. We just released updates so something might have changed. I don't know. Um, Eric. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can okay, you hear I can hear you just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might be something on his end? Is he supposed to be in the Discord? Because he's not. No, he's in a different one. Yo, I'm I'm able to hear um, some other friends just fine. I wonder if it's like the Discord server that's messed up. Because if you can hear me fine, and I can't hear you, but your mic is fine. Like the little thing. You can try a new link. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. Give me a second. I'll give you an. I'll, I'll post. I'll give it to you on Twitter. Let's, I'm going to give him one that I know works. I'll give him one that I know works. Oof. Could you, uh, or I can give you more money and you can tell me. Frecked. I don't know what the hell we're talking about. Nope, not telling you. Mischief, money daggers. Hello. There we the go. All uh, right, so it might have just been an out-of-date link or something. Yeah, something weird, something weird. What's going on? Uh, not a lot. Uh, I was just watching your last game, mate. So. Yeah, a little embarrassing. 
Sorry. Oh, I don't know. That's right. I don't know about that. Just uh, you could probably use a break. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. So, uh, yeah. E League's coming up. It is. It, it definitely is. I've been uh, hustling nonstop today. We had like our rehearsals and stuff over at the Carb Energy Center. So, mm-hmm. uh, so rehearsals more intense since it's on TV. It was more about, you know, timing and stuff. Like, we're just kind of getting everything, uh, you know, like down on pat because we've got a live show to consider. So we've, we've like, moved. Obviously, you've watched the show. Mm-hmm. So uh, we've got um, – we, we've moved the stage across from, like, the studio, uh, like what we actually sit on, and we've kind of made it a little bit smaller, and we've took some elements of the stage show and stuff. So it was, like, loads of work. But we were just sat there, and it was just, like, going over cues, like stage entrances – listening to Puckett say the names of the five players <laughs> that, that that he hasn't quite learnt yet, that kind of thing. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Sounds good. So you guys sitting closer to the players now? It's pretty much the same distance. Yo, we're up in – so the way they've done it is it's like – and obviously I don't want to ruin too much uh, in case there are people that are coming, but basically we've got a big stage, then we've got audience, then we're up a level, so the analysts are on a desk like kind of on the second floor, mm-hmm. and then up from us on the third floor – We've got like Anders and Semler up in like like. Do you remember the Muppets when you were a kid? I don't know if you ever watched the Muppets. Yeah. You, you know, you know the two old dudes. They used to sit up in the in, oh, in the yeah, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And say everything was like bad or terrible or whatever. <laughs> well, that's, that's where uh, that's where Anders and Semler are. Oh, so so they're, they're, they are into, okay. They yeah, are, they are, yeah, it's what it was Waldorf. It was Waldorf and someone. I can't remember the name of the Muppets. Someone will remember in the chat. Oh, maybe not with with. We might get a, a Photoshop out of audience. this now. I might get a Photoshop. Yeah, who knows? But anyway, yeah. So they're up. They're up in the uh, right, right, up very super high. But like we went to the venue. It looks real good. Uh, looking forward to doing the show and, and looking forward to wrapping up what's been a an emotional season. You know, there's been lots going on. Uh, yeah, dude, 24 it, teams. So many good teams. It's insane. I didn't even think there was that many freaking good teams all in one place. Yeah, hang on. Apparently, I'm a little bit loud. Uh, so I what I'm going to I can turn you down. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I don't don't want to deafen all your uh, all your wonderful viewers. Uh, I hope we hope we paid you plenty uh, for this as well, because this is where I just kill all your viewership. <laughs> no, well, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. So yeah, man, dude. Good. TV, bro. That's pretty crazy, man. It's got to feel a little different mm. for you. Does it feel different? You got to bring like more of the A game or what? Yeah, I mean, like you know, I don't know about you, but. Um, I'm. I never felt ready for TV at all. Oh, yeah, uh, right. yeah it, it's just you know, like sitting on a stream and just having a drink and getting to say whatever you want. And if people like it, that's you know they can watch and and, and join in, donate, whatever. That's mm-hmm. one thing. Uh, being on television, where it's like, okay, you've got to memorize. You know, this is the way Domino's wants to, to the, their product to be advertised, and you've got to memorize it, and you've got to say it properly, and you've got to say it within two minutes. Uh, or, uh, you know, because we've got a commercial we have to fit in. And, you know, it, it's just a lot more structured. So, oh, yeah, yeah that's it, right. That's right. You guys have to, you guys have to, on normal tournaments, you guys get to analyze so much more and so much longer. Oh, yeah. Like but for this one, clock. you're, yeah, yeah, you're way shortened, right? Yeah, well, we have we have to be. I mean, uh, you know, obviously that's better for the broadcast. If you're a newcomer, you know, if you don't, if you don't understand Counter-Strike and you're just tuning in because it's on TBS, obviously you don't want to listen to me and Thorin talk for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you makes know? sense. I mean, I, I would, I would argue there's some probably esports fans that don't want to do that, but, um, <laughs> but that, that's what we've always had the opportunity to do, like you know, you know, because usually something will happen, like we'll have a PC problem at a regular esports event, right, and then we'll just get called out of the green room. Hey, D- Duncan Rich, you got to come and talk for 20 minutes. Unfortunately, we can do it, but when we're on a TV program, we get like you know two minutes, so it's like make all your best points. Yeah, there's so many different things like uh, like in normal tournaments. Like throughout the history of esports, there's always been mistakes that can possibly happen, and you guys just throw it on your back for a little while, and it's good to go. But on TV, it's like a different ball game. Yeah, they'd rather we went to a commercial break. I think <laughs> like it'd just be like, yeah, I'm look, kidding. we'll go to a break, we'll find out what's happening, and then you know we can come back and well, yeah, because that's one of the things as well. We don't want to interrupt the gameplay, so we get asked a lot of the time, like, why do we have three commercial breaks at the end? And it's just so because it's American TV, right? Everyone's got to get paid. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, it's, it, we've got to have we've got to have so many amount of commercials over a set amount of time. So we usually have shorter desk uh, segments at the end. So it was like it was loads to learn, like just learning about how a TV show is structured, learning how like uh, a directoral uh, you know work. Because I mean, I'm used to having one director. On this show, we have three. 
Oh shit! So three different guys calling the shots. Yeah, three different guys in my ears, and uh, which which sounds like a, a good weekend for some people. But, uh, <laughs> three. So three, wait, wait, wait. Three. So wait, these guys. Um, can they? So you have. It's not just one person that has you like on call on microphone or like you know like in your ear actually talking to you. You have multiple people, or how does yeah. that work? Yeah, oh, yeah, like shit. three people. So we've got like we've got a, a director, an assistant director, and and then uh, I don't even know what the other guy's title is, but uh, we've got. We, we've got a lot of people from um, inside the NBA. So they've all like, they're all Emmy award winning directors, right? Mm-hmm. And what will happen is if they notice a shot in the crowd or whatever. So I've got to rehearse segments. So I come in and I'll be like, uh, tonight on E-League, you know, uh, our complexity, going to win a game, you know, whatever it'll be. That'll be my mm-hmm. introduction. I'll do that. And then an assistant director might have noticed uh, something funny happening in the crowd. So we, we changed that at the last second. And he'll tell me, Richard, we're not doing the complexity shit anymore. And then I've got to think of something on the fly. The process. Yeah. Okay, so, gotcha. so it's yeah, it's just like you can just. That's a trip. Right. I've only, I've had to do that one time on one of like my little events, and uh, dude, it's it's pretty tough, man, to to listen to something that's going on in your ear and be able to like work with it on the fly. It's pretty tough. Well, I know because we were talking about you know I, I I wanted you to to come out and 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 visit us out in Atlanta. Right? I don't I have no idea if you are or not now, uh, but I wanted you to come us. out. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wanted, I wanted you to come out and, and the first thing you said was, yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't put me on TV though. <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't uh, want to be on TV. I'm not trying to talk in front of TV. You know what I mean? But, it's, yeah. it's, it is, it I is got my a, fair share of TV program. recently, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, dude, every time <laughs> I watch you, every time I watch you, there's people pointing guns at you or something. What's, <laughs> what's it's up just with that? like, wait, that just isn't, it's just America. Isn't, that's how it works. <laughs> that's how we but greet yeah, each like, other, you know? everything's all right though since that whole pokemon swatting thing. yeah yeah everything's cool i got my fair share of tv i'm used to it now you know i'm ready to go ready for yeah. the big leagues but uh, yeah, you know maybe you can do another show apart from the local news uh <laughs> one day maybe, maybe that would be good for you <laughs> that'd be nice that'd be nice man. so um go on I'll, I'll i'll switch this up and ask you some questions uh mm-hmm. right so i'm guessing you're still watching competitive counter-strike right yeah as much as i can it's hard to get all of it when i'm when i'm streaming as much as i am but um, I, I get the bits and pieces of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, who, who do you think's going to win? Because I've gone kind of all in on Fnatic. See, I think Fnatic's going to win, but I want Mouse Force to win. Oh, and uh, come on. pretty much, I just want Nico to go nuts, dude, <laughs> to be honest with you, man. I want he him goes to go, nuts every game. I know, and I want him to go nuts and bring a win, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like we were the last, the last best of three that he was involved in to even get his team to this stage. I think it was like he had to drop like a hundred kills you know, really? like across three maps. Yeah, I think it was something ridiculous, like a hundred and eight kills across Jesus three maps. Christ, That's what I mean. That's how insane that guy is. He's but nuts, dude. but I, I, I can't remember the last time I saw kind of a, 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 a as fun a player to watch because he's like you know he he's good with all weapons, right? He's like he's flashy. Like, yeah, exactly. Like really aggressive and flamboyant to you know in, in how he plays the game. But mm-hmm. unfortunately, and it's no disrespect to his other teammates, I was out drinking with him the other night, mm-hmm. and I was I was just you know we'd had a few drinks, and I was just like, so which one of you guys is getting cut after this event? You know, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, okay. So I, I, so I was super popular, but um, <laughs> but no, I mean like they all love each other, like like as a unit, they're all really close, good friends. Like Nico's always saying he doesn't want to play with any other guys. Really. Which is fun. Yeah, for real. Wow. Dude. My thought always was like he may have just been stuck in contract and like uh he's waiting to get on to another squad. You know, no, oh, I mean? no, he, he he loves it, mate. Like that's no, the that's the crazy thing. Yeah, he actually likes being there and he likes playing with those four guys. Well, I mean, I never... as you know, as of like you've seen all these other counter strike teams come together and die and stuff like that, it's not always the five mm. greatest players that make the greatest team, right? Like yeah, sometimes not, not friendships always. get in there and like they help yeah. out the teamwork and the different roles and yeah, so it's not always uh, it's not always the best case. Like Cloud Nine got themselves in that kind of a situation where they're trying to get this really great fifth and just mm. not quite getting what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like I'm kind of like you. I like it when underdogs do well, but equally, mm-hmm. like I I appreciate greatness. You know? And, oh, of course. And I I think I think Fnatic have kind of hit a point in their careers now where you know there's a lot of rumors about them doing some roster changes after e-league mm-hmm. i don't know if you saw that you know there's a lot of people saying it's either going to be jw dude, i'm getting Crims. some ridiculous stuff that i just can't yeah. take seriously i dude i have well, people telling me i have people telling me posh is going to go make his own team or something like that i'm just like come on dude I yeah i've heard that rumor as well but I, I i don't take that too seriously uh yeah so i don't know i don't know what rumors to believe to be honest man but uh 
I almost don't. I don't really want to see any roster change. No, nah, I think um, I, I, I I think it's coming. I think it's inevitable. And if I, I so. remember correctly, yeah, if I remember correctly, I think I think JW uh, almost went to NIP. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, like a while ago. So I, I'm not saying NIP would be a destination for him, but uh, it, it would certainly be an option. They're very aware of, of his. You know, See, Nip's talent, kind of a so team yeah. that I would actually really like to see a roster change on. Not that I like, I don't like any of the players on it, but it would just be nice to kind of see a, a change rather than just like one or one player, maybe one or two players or something like that. But I don't see that happening. And yeah, fifth, I mean, it fit really well with him for like. Yeah, and and he deserves he deserves some credit. You know, like mm -hmm. he's when he first joined, he had a terrible game. Like I remember his very first game, it was like really embarrassing. It was something like seven for eighteen or whatever. You know, oh, I gotcha. uh, and and everyone was like. This guy's never going to cut it, but slowly over the course, you know, they developed him. Get right took him under his wing. They were kind of like doubling up on sites together, and and uh, Pitt, uh, you know, really improved his game. So he definitely, I don't think he'd be the make weight. And there's always the question of when Forrest's going to retire. You know, I mean, he must yeah. be late twenties now, like twenty nine. Still or something. insane, man. Yeah, guys, of course, dude. Like the guys are phenom. Crazy. Guys are phenom, but uh, you know, nothing lasts forever, right? Yeah. I mean, when we I were remember seeing... when I had a full head of hair, you know. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, people were gonna say it. People and said it about me. That's why I wear my and abs. No, all right, yeah, we're getting no, crazy legit, now. Dude. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, they were there once upon okay, a time. Okay, all right, dude. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, dude, I'm kind of like, I guess on the whole nip thing, I kind of mm. thought exist was gonna take a seat before Forrest did. Yeah, I mean, you I kind of feel both... like if there's anybody that's gonna step down, it would be exist. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe you know, you, you, hey, you're cl perhaps uh, closer to the pros uh, than I am when, in terms of gossip and and that kind of thing. Because oh, obviously, gosh. being a journal, well, being a journalist or a former journalist, uh, you know, people don't like to talk around me too. Yeah, much, yeah, so. I was, I was gonna say, do they like, uh, do they get a little, little weird, huh, around you, right? They don't want to give you the full scoop, or. It's been, been a lot weirder since the Phantom Lord thing. I'll yeah. Tell you that. Well, shit. I I was a little nervous when you messaged me, like I said last time. You know, like, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah. I didn't like that. Like, hey, hey, Summer, I really want to talk to you. And yeah. Just, oh my Immediately God, after Richard all this Lewis. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Richard Lewis is coming. No, it's all good. Uh, there's definitely nothing <laughs> for you to worry about. Uh, but look, so um, uh, you know, and 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 I'll talk about the games. Uh, Fnatic versus Navi. I'm I'm kind of I want to see how that one's gonna go because Navi were really bad against Cloud Nine. Like I don't know if you watched that game, but yeah, they've kind they of really had struggled. a weird little streak going where they're not playing too. Yeah. Hard, huh? Is Guardian performing? Yeah. And and they you no, know, I mean like he isn't. That's the that's the crazy thing. Like he's still good. Like Guardian on a bad day. Like if you poked Guardian's eyes out, I think he'd still hit like fifteen, <laughs> eighteen frags. And don't obviously don't do that because he's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. But but you know he's um he's he's like so good that the bar is set so high that when he's just average, it yeah. really stands out. You know. I was telling that to people today. They were saying that like Posh hasn't performed in so long, and I'm just thinking like, man, you sometimes you guys forget who these guys are playing against. You can't go stardom mode every single time you're playing against the best players in the world. It's fucking impossible unless yeah. you're Cold Zero. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. And, uh, you know, it's uh, he, I, I, yeah. the injury thing, right? Like, I, I don't know how many. Yeah, like he had it uh, the MLG, right? Yeah, and I don't know how, how much longer that can really go on. Because I know he had, like, it was a bad injury. It was legit. It wasn't excuses. Um, and so is that still thing. being thrown around? Uh, you know, not by him, but I, but I think obviously some Navi fans, like they still want to believe, right. That, that it couldn't just be bad form, mm -hmm. you know, but, uh, for me, I, I think, I think all of Navi's in a little bit of a slump. And of course the, the big rumor going around is that this could be the last time we, we see that Navi lineup as, as, as well. A lot mm -hmm. of talk uh, about simple coming in. Oh, see, that so, could be huge. That can obviously oh, really dude. That guy's been I, going insane, man. I think I think if you add simple to that team in place of Zeus, and no disrespect to Zeus, because I think he's um he's a phenom he's like a phenomenal talent in terms of his in game leadership, but he's not the in game leader anymore. So okay. I, I I don't I don't understand his role like Starix. Oh, Starix, their coach. Yeah. So I, I don't really understand what Zeus does, right? So if, if the choice was just on fragging, do I go for Zeus or simple? I I go for simple. So yeah, no kidding. Um, so well, that, do they, the do they even have anybody? Does Zeus pick up the op like Simple does from time to time, or is that mostly Guardian? No, nah, I mean it's it's all it's all Guardian. I, I've seen Seized uh, kind of do it quite a bit on certain maps. Like he'll be that secondary AWP. He's pretty mm. good at it actually. Seized is underrated uh, with the AWP. Um, but do you think he's but, Simple level as a secondary? Nah, opera? nah. I mean, he's like, like the Simple's got to be one of the best secondary offers. 
like without anybody doubt. that can uh you know i mean look when he when he rejoined team liquid uh for the last major i think mm -hmm. i think you can see how much of a difference he can make to any team no disrespect to the liquid guys mm -hmm. but like simple was their x factor you know like yeah, you're driving course. him to the final so dude that'd no be insane it. to see him in Navi on navi that'd be super insane i think you could have the world's uh you know that i think you would could be really difficult to be with him yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd like to see that lineup get like two, three months under its belt and take on this version of SK Gaming, the Brazilians. I'd really like yeah. to see that. And ho hopefully that could happen in E-League, you know, which would be amazing, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, what else? What else have I got to talk about? Oh, so I'm, you, I'm in did a, you have I'm, 24 teams did you have winning at the beginning? Uh, who did I have down, actually? I mean, that, that was the, that was the thing. Because of the SK Gaming situation, the SK Gaming Luminosity situation, mm -hmm. that, like, really threw, like, a spanner in the works for a lot of predictions because we, you know, obviously they're the best team in the world right now. So mm -hmm. uh, we, we had them down. I don't think many people had... I think I think there was Fnatic because we heard rumors that Olaf Meister was going to come back. So I think a few people went for Fnatic, but it was, it was between those two people, I think. But Fnatic still hasn't quite been the same even when Olaf returned. Yeah, well, all of, yeah, they're, they're missing something. And to be honest, like, and again, I, I don't want to keep harping on about JW. I, I think like, two things have happened, right? Then that's J, JW hasn't been a consistent AWP player for like a long time, right? Like, I mean, that's just legit. You could argue he was never truly consistent, but he was he was more consistent than what he is now. Uh, and Crims has kind of fallen off a little bit. And like you used to you used to see him play like really well in tandem with Olaf Meister. And when but when mm -hmm. Crims and Olaf Meister went off and had solid performances, there's just nothing you could do to shut Fnatic down. Now you know you're looking at Olaf Meister coming back from an injury, still a top performer in the team. You got mm -hmm. Dennis, who again criminally underrated i think like not enough people sing his he, praises they um uh, right when they picked him up they went undefeated for a really long time didn't they yeah yeah well that was they won the first like four tournaments of the year or something yeah, yeah. so so i i just player. thought i just thought they were just gonna dominate throughout 2016 but like in columbus they just got wrecked uh, uh by astralis you know Olaf meister got that injury and astralis did that thing where they took the time out and made them sit in the chair <laughs> uh which was i thought that was baller like i don't, I don't care loads of people were saying that was bm like just to take a time out at like 15 2 or whatever it was and just make yeah. make your opponent sit there just gotta sweat it out yeah it's, it, it was pretty good so I, you know I've, I've, I've got fanatic winning this one like navi have never beat fanatic in a best of three or a best of five really yeah oh shit that's fucking rough then that's really yeah. rough coming out of what they're in so then. Yeah, and, and this is the thing, like Navi have been choking in like big games, like semifinals, and particularly finals, you know, like they've only won one tournament out of all the finals they made it to. And that was that one in Croatia, that counter pit one with a crazy guy who was like, you know, the war is over. <laughs> that dude. I got gotcha. you. So, yeah, how about so, uh, how about VP, man? I haven't really heard a whole lot about VP. They just kind of like coasting or what? It's really strange. Like Taz has been one of their better performers in E-League, you know? I'm kidding. Well, yeah, that's like he's really stepped his game up, like uh, since they came out to Atlanta. And yeah, you know, I've been I've been talking to the guys. I think they realize as well, like it's a big important tournament, uh, you know, for them. But uh, he, he, what can they do, right? Like they they will never play with non Polish players, right? There's too much of a language barrier to overcome mm. there. And the rest, like the tier two, the Polish players just aren't good there. enough. Yeah. So they've got they've got to make it work with what they have, and and at the moment it hasn't really been working. There were signs of promise at the major, uh, you know they they've they've definitely had some great results lately that suggest you know they 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 can be better. But I just don't have. I mean, I've got them beating mouse sports. I think they get like, to you the think final. they'll beat mouse sports. Yeah, for sure. Really, hmm. for sure, because yeah, I just it can't happen. It can't happen. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it just kind of happened for Running for president like, means staying in a different hotel every in, night. Uh, so I use the, the hotel four of a tournament where the prize money's been quarter of a million or more. So it's the first time ever in their history. Like, they've already made history. And, like, Nico's, a, he's a carrier bag. Like, he can carry, but there's just, like, there's carrying and then there's carrying against Furtis Pro. I think yeah. it's just a, I think it's a bridge too far, dude. I got you. So, so yeah. So, I mean, you know, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I should probably, uh, before I head off, I should probably tell everybody where it is and, and what's going give on up. give us a spiel and and, and and for full disclosure obviously this was sponsored i love how <laughs> professional you've been with the little brackets and everything but you know hey i know you're a, a big counter strike enthusiast as am i so you i know you would have been hyped for e-league regardless oh yeah uh, but yeah so it's going to be at the Cobb energy center 
which is in Atlanta, Georgia, which is my home now. It's wonderful out here. Oh, um, no kidding. You moved there. Yeah, I live here full time because I, I actually work for the company. So I joined Turner full time. I'm not like being hired. Oh, as a fan, shit. So. Badass. Yeah, so I work for Turner Sports. Yeah, if, if people have wondered why I'm I'm not quite as edgy on Twitter anymore, there's your answer. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, so it's going to be at the Cobb Energy Center, uh, and obviously it's going to be tomorrow, and that's when we're going to have the televised game. A lot of people were querying why we were going to have Mouse Sports Virtus Pro on 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 TV uh, over the Fnatic Navi game, but I think there's a lot of compelling storylines. You know, Nico, obviously we've we've done a lot of broadcasting stuff about him. Uh, you've got Neo, who had like a great uh, performance. He was our MVP for Virtus Pro to get to this. So like the greatest player of all time taking on this new guy who a lot of people think is the best player in the world right now. I think that's great television. That's no disrespect to Fnatic and Na'Vi, but mm-hmm. that's why it would be my choice. Um, so yeah, obviously it's the 29th to the 30th. Tickets are still available. You can go to e-league.com and you can go to uh, slash finals. And if you go there, you will find that uh, if you put in a discount code of e-league, all in block capitals, you get 50% off. So we're, we're really trying to fill the place, and uh, that's why we're giving the last few tickets, um, you know, uh, 50% discount. So if anyone is listening to your stream and they weren't going to do anything this weekend and they wanted to come and hang out and obviously you get to meet everybody, possibly even you, it sounds like we haven't even uh, made a decision about that yet. Yeah. Um, oh, so are the other teams going to um... – be there on the 29th too, like uh, the other yeah, absolutely. Guys. There's going to be all sorts of signings and stuff. You know, people oh, have cool. been coming. Um, <laughs> to Mo TV, Richard Lewis is a sellout scumbag. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, uh, we always have it. So every televised night, we do signings. Uh, so all of the teams come and attend. Everybody gets an opportunity to come up, get some selfies, sign some you know mouse mats or whatever. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have merchandise there and everything else. So um, it should be great. And, uh, and if uh, if anybody comes and they reference that they uh, indeed listen to this stream, uh, I'll buy them a drink uh, in line with their age in the glorious <laughs> state of Georgia. So. Have to have a wristband. No, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so that's it, man. So I hope I see you there, and obviously some of the people have been watching your stream. Uh, you, mm-hmm. You're doing. There you go. Look at that, Mo TV. It's probably the best atmosphere for any fan of esports. And uh, look, this is all you need to know. People even cheered for Mo out there. <laughs> Jeez, that's sad of this world. Which is crazy. Uh, so anyway, shine on you crazy diamond, Mo. Uh, thanks a lot, Summit, man. Uh, really appreciate you having me on. Uh, hope you can go back to playing now. Hopefully you we'll you're we'll going to find your mojo. Yeah, yeah, try and win one, mate. I'll still be watching <laughs> your stream for the rest of the night. I might hang out in your chat. But uh, uh, thanks a lot for having me on. Uh, yeah, pleasure, dude. I'll catch you later. No worries. Take care, brother. See ya.